It's Anna from the studio for another Teen Crafternoon. Today we're going to take this empty tin and turn it into an altered art tin. Making an art tin is actually really easy. So all you need is an empty tin. So I bought these on Amazon, but you can also use Altoid tins that you get at the store and just empty them of Altoids and you can have the inside. And then you put whatever you want in them. So I collected a bunch of tchotchkes from my craft supplies. These are from, these are little cutouts of fruits. I'm not gonna use those today, but I have lots of little Christmas things. I have seashells that I got on the beach, and I have these fake flowers. I'm gonna use cardstock in different patterns to do my backgrounds, and then I'm gonna add things. All I need is glue, and I'm using hot glue for most of this, and then I'm using a regular paper glue for adding paper elements. So I'm going to start with the Christmas one, and I pre-cut some cardstock. So I have this brick pattern, and then I have um, a tree pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and start by adding glue to the back of my interior one. A little goes a long way on this. Then I gotta have, go ahead and just set it in there and try to center it and smooth it out. The edges are showing on your silver. It's not that big of a deal because you can cover it up with other stuff. I'm not gonna glue this one quite yet because I cut out some words from a book and I'm gonna spell out December 25th. So once again, it all goes a long way. So, and this was from a recycled book, but you can also use a magazine or um, print out quotes and stuff that you would like to use for your author. These also make good presents because you can kind of make it like a mini card. So now I have my December 25th. And I'm going to go ahead and glue it onto the interior. So you can also decorate the outside. I'm only going to do the inside today. And you can also paint these. You can use any type of craft material that you want. This is great for getting rid of extra scraps and stuff. Alright, so I have my decorated on the inside. You can also put ribbon on the inside or put more cardstock on. I'm not going to. So I have little Christmas trees that I'm going to glue in. And I have a wreath that I'm going to add, so I'm going to trim off the extra ribbon here. So, add some extra string on it. So I'm going to use a hot glue gun and hot glue those to the back. The cool is you basically get a neat 3D effect and you can put whatever you want in here. So I'm going to glue some on the bottom, some on the back then I'm just going to put it on. So you could do an entire scene in here. Um, you can add whatever you like. So on this side, I'm going to add a reindeer. So for 3D elements, anything that's kind of heavy, I would use hot glue. That's pretty cool. Let's add some bells. One more bell. I have a little one here. Just using a little bit of hot glue. That's pretty neat. And then on this side, I'm going to take this really cool gingerbread and add it on here. And there is my Christmas themed altered art tin. So let's make another one and we're going to do a beach theme. Get some more hot glue going. So I'm going to take an, another empty tin and I cut out for this one, I cut out 
One side is turtles. So I'll pull it back and it in. Then I have a seagull side. So let's add some glue on this side. There we go. Add that in. Let it sit. And I'm going to add the birds to the other side. So you could almost make this a little journal page. It could be a card. You can add pictures. So I got birds on that side. And then I also cut out a little piece that would be sand. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue that in. Like I said before, I got these backgrounds by tracing the bottom of the tin and then just trimming things until it fit. This one's a little big. So go ahead and fix that. There it goes. So now I have that and I'm just going to put the words I love it on here. And then I'm going to go ahead and add these different seashells I have. So one thing I wanted to do is take a shell like this, and I'm actually going to set a little pearl in it. I'm going to tuck it in here. And then I'm going to add, I got some pearls, so I'm going to put some glue in here, and then drop the pearl in. Just like that. Then I also grab these really cool crystals. Let's see if I can find a big one. So I'm going to go ahead and add those up on top. So I can add some cool shine. Because I like shiny things. So some clear ones. And then we'll add some more gels. So we'll put that one on this side right here. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and add some more seashells, and I have lots of different kinds. So these were all found on the beach in Florida. They're pretty cool. Like I said, you can add absolutely anything you want in here, and a little hot glue goes a long way. And there you go. It's another neat altered art tray. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this project. If you want to share the project you made, you can do it at foundale.org slash craftnoons or go on any social media and go hashtag fountaindallib. If you want to see more events like this, go to foundale.org slash events. Have a great day.